There are almost 2 million people in the U.S. who work in computer repair or support. And if you've ever needed help, you are thrilled when that IT person shows up to straighten your computer out. Well, increasing numbers of those computer doctors work for a small Minneapolis-based company. And as Jane Wells reports, they're not just computer repairmen, they're geeks and proud of it. Faster than a speeding hard drive, able to leap monitors in a single bound, and pretty available since they don't date much. They are the Geek Squad. The 10-year-old company founded by Robert Stevens will fix your computer at your home or office or their own facility. And who else would you entrust your silicone to but a nerd? Computer geek became the world's richest man. So it's no longer about who's cool or not. That, that's already been settled. He's talking about Microsoft's Bill Gates, of course. And while the geek squad hasn't quite achieved global reach like the Windows operating system, it is a goal. There's no problem that we can't solve because there's only two kinds of problems. There's problems you can solve and problems that aren't worth solving. The Geek Squad takes a unique approach to its business. The company of about 150 people trains agents who travel around any of eight cities in very recognizable cars with clip-on ties. Maybe it sounds silly, but it works. There's very little turnover. Every morning I wake up um, with this job, I want to come to work. It seems like a gimmick, but every decision is made for a reason. We use uh, clip-on ties. Do you know why? Because the same reason, the reason police wear ties is in case they get in a fight, you know? Same reason we wear them. You know, we remember how it was in high school. You might liken their approach to the Ghostbusters. Remember them? Ghostbusters! Ghostbusters is a business that makes house calls, um, charges a, a decent price for what they do, and is legitimized by their ridiculous behavior because they're very good at what they do. She slimed me. That's great! The Geek Squad gets about 1,500 calls a day to 1-800-GEEK-SQUAD. They charge a flat rate so you know what you're in for before they step right. foot in your home. And if it only takes a minute to solve your problem, don't worry, you won't be sapped for hundreds of dollars. And how much memory is that? This is a 64 meg chip. The Heldy family recently called upon the Geek Squad. I see them as incredibly professional and polished and personable and trustworthy. Um, it might be the uniforms, it might be the cars, I don't know. And the nerd factor, it's just not the way it used to be. Clicks these days aren't quite as bad as maybe they were in like the late 80s or whatever, so people can call themselves geeks and it sounds kind of like a good thing. It's a very good thing for Stevens. His company was acquired by Best Buy in 2002 for an undisclosed amount. By August, there will be Geek Squad outposts in 600 stores. Along the way, the geeks have made strange bedfellows with some decidedly non-nerds, fixing the computers of everyone from the president, when the geeks had to recover a deleted speech from a laptop, to the Rolling Stones when their systems crashed. When we show up on a, on a movie set, or we show up behind backstage uh, for the Rolling Stones, we're the celebrities, because we're in charge once we show up. The Geek Squad's available 24-7 because they don't date very much. But if Geek Squad agents are the new rock stars, you can bet they'll be praying for Saturday nights off soon. I'm Jane Wells for the Wall Street Journal Report. And that is the final click for this edition of the Wall Street Journal Report. Don't forget to keep up with the latest.